Ryan Poles just made another move signing veteran tight end Mercedes Lewis to a one-year deal. We officially do not have to worry about the spending floor anymore as this move gets us close enough to the floor that contract escalators from other deals that Poles has signed will get us over that hump. Ryan Poles has done it. I feel like this puts everything in my life as a Bears fan in full circle. I remember Mercedes Lewis from studying the 2006 NFL Draft. He was a 6'6", six six, very athletic tight end prospect that came on 670 to score and talked about wanting to play for the Bears. He ended up getting drafted in the first round by Jacksonville Jags, and that was a long 17 years ago. Lewis went on to play 12 seasons in Jacksonville before joining the Green Bay Packers in 2018. He spent the last five seasons helping our biggest rivals out as the best pass-blocking tight end in the entire league. That is what Mercedes Lewis brings to this team on the field. In his 17-year career, he has 5,968 total snaps blocking. He's been used as a blocker on 72.9% of his career snaps. Last year in Green Bay, he played 451 snaps on offense and didn't allow a sack all season long. In fact, he didn't even allow a QB hit and only allowed two pressures on the entire season. PFF graded him out as 72.9 as a pass blocker with a 98.5 efficiency rating. In fact, for his entire career as a pass blocker, his efficiency rating is 97.3. In nearly 6,000 total snaps, he's only allowed 8 sacks in his entire career, and only 3 over his 5 years in Green Bay. He doesn't only pass block though, he also grades out over 70 on his career as a run blocker as well. He hasn't had a blocking penalty called on him in 3 years now and is essentially a 6th offensive lineman. Mercedes Lewis just turned 39 years old. He isn't going to catch many passes. He has just 29 catches over the last 2 years and only 6 last year but he did haul in 2 short TD grabs. That's just it. Lewis is still a fine option in the red zone. He's six foot six with excellent hands, and usually the defense pays zero attention to him because he's such a tremendous blocker. This is a move most people won't talk about at all, but it completely solidifies our tight end room. Cole Komet is the two-way guy who can block and is a dangerous receiving option. Robert Tunyon was brought in for his receiving skills and Mercedes Lewis was brought in for his blocking skills. This gives us a very solid room at the tight end position, the best we've had in over a decade in my opinion. Lewis is also familiar with the system. As he spent four years with Luke Getze, he's also a solid veteran presence who will further solidify this locker room. This is a good signing, not a big needle mover, but Lewis will be on the field. His blocking is that good. Another solid move by Ryan Poles is he's putting his finishing touches on the roster. The work he has done this offseason has been remarkable. Poles has been busy. The Bears will be practicing when this video drops. Expect a breakdown on that practice soon and so much more coming. If you missed it somehow, we signed Yannick Ngakwe last night. Poles is cooking. Please hit that like button for me. And until next time, bear down. Yeah, we icy. We're going for that ring. We're about to go golf. Let's go to the swing. Woo! Yeah.